what's up welcome to my first outdoor video i'm going to do this more often because i like being outside and i like being creative give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more let's do it ourselves what do you need for this diy about six wooden paint stirring sticks some colorful chalkboard markers, I got four colors. A measuring tape, mine is pink, of course, duh. A pencil to make a marking on your wooden sticks. Some chalkboard paint, I chose the color blue. A hand saw. Watch out, this is dangerous. Tell your parents what you're doing. Sandpaper is optional, but not necessary. Well, let's look in this container. In this container, I keep all my brushes, but I only need one. Let's pick the one I need today. I chose a flat brush because that's easy. The first thing you do is measure up your paint stirring sticks. Mine is about 30 centimeters long, so I'm going to make a mark at 15 centimeters. That is half of the stick. When I made the mark on the first stick, I'm going to continue this with the rest. When everything is done, I can saw the sticks in half at the markings I made earlier with the pencil. As you can see here, I'm struggling a bit with the handsaw because I am a noob. Trim the edges if you want to and then continue with some sandpaper. Make sure you get all the sharp edges or splinters because you don't want to get hurt when you are painting them. Sanded it, open your paint jar, or in my case, let someone else open it for you because I couldn't. And paint half of your stick with the chalkboard paint. When you're done, just put them in a pot with some crumbled up paper so it will stand upright. Continue painting everything and put everything in the pot to dry. Let them dry till the next day. The next day I got my jar of dried sticks and my four different kinds of chalkboard markers. The next thing you need to do is get one of the sticks out, choose a color you need to write with and write down the plant you have. Choose the color that you like the most and write it down. After you wrote it down, let it dry completely. Continue doing this with every stick you got. Use different colors to make your garden more colorful. When you finished everything, you need to let them dry in the same jar as you did before. The next day you can put them in the ground and it will look something like this. Cute, huh? 
so much for watching. Please like.